Live from the corner of Southwest Austin, where short pirate children exist, have a seat and cue up the dark side of the moon because it's going to be a great night. Now, hmm, berm, germ, and me are all really, really excited because here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. I got him here now. I think I might be able to do it. I, 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 I'm sorry, we're, on we're, the phone. We're, we're technically Brian's live. Brian's on the phone. Okay, all right. Who's on the phone? Brian's on the we're, phone. We're going to do it right now. All right, all right, all right. Sorry, I was, I was on the phone. On the yeah. Phone. I was on the phone with... You were doing a call and response. Yeah, well, I was calling. Yeah. You were doing a call and response. Yeah, exactly. David McRaney, you yes. are not so smart. Yes, one of, our, one of our good friends. That's the name of this podcast. I'm not just calling names. Not insulting me. Right. Yeah. David McGraney, of Today's course. the big day. His book came out. He did. How Minds Change. Yep. He understands that we're pretty good at jingles. Okay. So we, we need to make up a jingle that won't ruin his brand reputation. That's right. Uh, uh, that will boost the fact that on Amazon right now, he's precariously close to very, very, very important charting positions. That's correct. And uh, uh, he, he, he asked, I, I didn't want to presume that we would be able to instantly jump into it, but I was thinking like just a little bit of a, a kind of, I mean, surely. Well, we let, 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 let's just think, I mean, so, so what we know about the book is that it is meticulously researched. He's been working on this for several years. It began when he gave a woman uh, the answer to how uh, her parents' mind would ever change about dangerous beliefs, and he initially told her no, was so upset with himself that minds couldn't change that he went on an odyssey, and that is what is reflected in this book, Sociological Research Out the Wazoo, and somebody who was very funny and a great writer. So if we are going to instill all of that into... One jingle, jingle, right? What that, would it sound well, like? Well, keep in mind, we'll have to also include the fact that it was so meticulously researched. He went to the Westboro Baptist Church. He yeah. met with former members of that congregation. Why were they there? Uh, well, well, he was there. Yeah. to just attend services. Gotcha. Then he then met. He met the, the other family people. who had it'd left. Be fucking the church. awkward. If they were there. Uh, <laughs> they were there, not wanted there. They left. Okay. They don't like. Other people. Back to the jingle. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So if what we want to convey is that this is a nuanced, well-researched, open, honest, yeah. introspective, mm -hmm. shareable item. Something that will let you connect with your father, grandfather, your cousins, your children, yeah. all of that stuff. I'm thinking like a hip-hop beat. Can you drop one of those for us, yeah, Bryce? Yeah, Bryce, do you have a hip-hop beat ready? Oh, <laughs> uh, oh. Uh. Yeah. This is what jingles are. Oh. Rap songs. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Next time you're at a Wendy's, Wendy's. you're thinking about a cheesy. cheesy. Then maybe you should consider changing your mind and having something bitter. That's right. Get drunk at a Wendy's. Gin and tonic. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Please buy his book, How Minds Change by David McRaney. I've got rage. My name is MC Cool Guy, see? And this jingle is really about me. <laughs> <laughs> He got scared because it was good. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what It I, got too yeah. good, and he got scared like, and oh, literally no. fucking immolated. There's no longer a Brian Brushwood. No. There's only scattered particles. <laughs> yeah. With he fucking just MC blew cool away guy. in the breeze like Spider-Man in fucking yeah. Infinity War. Yeah, like, I don't want to so go. Good. I don't want to go. Because he rapped too I well. I don't feel so that good. That was the fucking best you've ever rapped. I know. <laughs> all of a sudden, I questioned all of my life's decisions and I collapsed. You got too high <laughs> on Mount Olympus and you're oh, like, man. I don't belong here. <laughs> yeah. Icarus, look at motherfucker. Uh... Uh, you know who does belong up there? Uh, David McGraney. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Uh, go buy, go buy McGraney's book. Uh, no, it's great. Uh, maybe, I, maybe I, one I, day he'll come on this podcast. I, I'm, I'm two thirds of the way through uh, the audiobook and uh, self-read. It, it is so confessional because he talks about his uh, uh, upbringing in Mississippi and about how um, 
close-minded a lot of his family is and how he came to his journey of learning how minds change. Yeah. It's great. It's they don't amazing. believe in doors. Uh, <laughs> I read the book too. Yeah. Yeah. They don't believe in doors. Uh, uh, Riders on the storm. Yeah. I, I don't know what to do with yeah, that. Exactly, uh, okay. yeah. Hey, Bryce, as, do we have as, a first as, as soon as he pulled his dick out in Florida, they were fucking done with it. All right. All right. I read it. We did it, Reddit. Oh. So I'm getting ready to go live for my uh, stream on Monday. And uh, I'm fucking around on Reddit while I'm waiting everything to, to boot up. And I go to uh, the, uh, sorry, it's just in my my main feed, the Austin subreddit, which is usually It's people, a good subreddit. Usually people complaining about the fact that uh, uh, I bought a house. Uh, or, or, or that it's not like the old days. That, that or, Austin sucks, which is like, right. Austin sucks now, I've now realized, is like what the motto of Austin is in Latin. Yeah. If somebody <laughs> can just translate Austin sucks now in Latin, like that is, should be on the, the crest of the city because it is... Part of being an Austinite is saying, yeah, but you should have seen it should've. two years ago. Yeah. Right. Tell him. Uh, and all of a sudden, I see a post there that is uh, uh, all caps. All caps. We got rain. Is that it? I, I give you rain. I give you rain. And so uh, <laughs> I know that my friend, Brian Brushwood, is very, very concerned about the fact that this has not been a rainy spring. It, it, we are it, now into the summer. It's extraordinarily hot. Uh, he is out here in, in Hill Country where things are a little bit more wooded. Yep. There's a lot of people saying, like, uh, there's a, there might be an issue of brush fires, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm almost on the title alone going to send this. The share button. To my, I'm going to text this to Brian of, look, there is rain coming. So then I play the clip. Yeah. Do you hit the audio or? Yeah. Oh, wait, that was the music. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> but David, make rainy. <laughs> make it rain, you see? <laughs> Pause it. I'm like, man. Brian would really appreciate this guy's energy. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I kind of really feel like <laughs> Brian would dig this dude. Like, <laughs> this guy dude, should hang out. He <laughs> like, he on. really has Brian's like vibe, man. Like, like it's really like very much Brian. And so then I'm scrolling down into the comments of this post. Yep. And I see the original poster the say, uh, uh, update. And I'm like, oh, I wonder. More shit that I can send. Man, I'm going to delight Brian today. <laughs> like, I'm going to send him so much good fucking content. He's going to be like, I'm so happy I'm friends with Justin because he just tickles me <laughs> with good content from the internet. So I click on this link from the original poster. <laughs> 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 so anyway, uh, I had to go live, but I didn't get to text you. Uh, but I'm sure you would have loved all of it. Oh man, I sure would have. <laughs> uh, no, I was, I was like, I was like, of course it's fucking him. Of yeah, course, yeah, of course, yeah. Brian's the one. Because like that is so abnormal on that subreddit for there to be actual joy, just unbridled joy. Just In fact, unbridled like, joy. Instantly, you'll notice somebody gave me a wholesome award yeah. for shouting "motherfucking rain." <laughs> Uh, but my favorite was once I once I did the follow up. I did not expect that rain to actually sweep over our house, uh, and then all of a sudden it started raining. And then we recorded the Twitter thing. I didn't want to hit run it twice. But then uh, uh, I, I think it was Ben Franklin from the chat was yeah. like, uh, "Good for you, little dot on this map." Yeah, and we, 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 we are seeing <laughs> that now. Because by the way, <laughs> I'm I'm about I, I'm about 15 miles from where Brian is. Not a drop. I was out <laughs> literally all day. I was on the river. I was on my yep. backyard. Not a single solitary drop uh, uh, came to South Austin. So. It was great, man. Uh, yeah, I think that's the entirety of the story, unfortunately. Next topic!
thing. Alrighty, our next topic, and I'm going to load it up right now, <laughs> is... Braintology. Yeah, brain, 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 oh, no, braintology. Brain oh, yeah, let's no, talk about your brain. God. Where's your brain at? Brain, sorry. I would make fun of you, except for the fact that the first email I ever sent to Brian was hi brain. Hi yeah. brain. <laughs> you could do worse. Uh, actually, the family legend is that uh, in, in the panic state of, you know, uh, your father, your wife's having a kid or whatever, like after deciding on my name, apparently they handed the birth certificate to my dad and he goes, Brain? <laughs> <laughs> As so, if he didn't know what you were going <laughs> Well, I, I, look, I, it's, it's a confusing time. <laughs> uh, everywhere. You've got a big weekend coming up. Yeah, dude. Uh, after years of talking about doing a class and finally putting words to the same, I don't know, general philosophy, the coordinate system, the words to action that we've done from going back to quit my day job to go on live. Can I, wait, hold on. Before, before we get into the details. Before I sound let me, smart. Let, let, no, 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 no. Let, let, me, let me just get the I already the, do the sound big, smart. It's braintology. It is braintology. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, let, let, me, let me just give everybody the, 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 the big idea, which is Brian is doing a two-day seminar here on the property. It is something for which, in all the artistic stuff that we have done, and we have done television, we've done... Uh, uh, VR, uh, VR stuff. We've done podcasts. Podcast, we've done YouTube. audio books. We've done YouTube. We've done a million different things, and we have talked about all of it endlessly. I have not had as much conversation about any of those projects as I have had with Brian about his belief and frustrations in the world of self-help or seminar-centric, like get your life or business on track stuff. You are a devotee of the the medium you you have consumed everything possible you have very specific thoughts on what is good and what is bad and more specifically you have never wanted to do anything like this unless you actually had a lesson and a story to tell well and, and as i've shared with you there are always uh, there are three types of people uh, uh one are assholes who did a thing and they always have shitty presentations they talk for 15 minutes rambling and they say and then when it mattered i believed real hard and i sure did uh -huh. kick that ball and it went where it was supposed to go uh, what up david mcraney uh and then uh, uh and then there are other people who are like uh, like really good practical advice. And then they would end by saying, and you know this works because I've sold my book, how to sell a bunch of books about how to do a thing. Yeah. Hated all of them. And every so often you would get one motherfucker who would actually give you real practical advice and was actually doing the thing. And and I, I felt like I was really, really close. And then COVID happens. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, uh, yes. And uh, COVID COVID affected all of us, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, but but uh, I think you were at a point, and we've talked about this ad nauseum on this show. Yeah. But you were at a point where this property was about to become ex like super functional, and a lot of things that had been in the works for a, a long time were about to take off, and then two year deep freeze. Right. Uh, uh, but in the in the interim time. You really took a look at everything that you had. You you realized on life support what it can do, and turns out it's pretty fucking impressive. Uh, yeah. So basically, I wrote a two day class. Uh, it's basically uh, I don't know put words puts words to everything I've been doing for twenty five years. Uh, and the last the last thing, and if I haven't publicly thanked you for this, the last like unlock was world's greatest con because the last little uh, self doubt megram was, well, I don't know, that worked for 22 years. Does it still work now? And then yeah. it's like, yes, it does. And and so I feel super good about it. Our first class is this weekend. And, uh, and if somebody wanted to, and they're interested, in a second class. Yep. Uh, you know what? Uh, uh, we don't have it on the store yet, but uh, uh, tonight I'll go ahead and I'll make this. Second class will be in late. Email Brian at Schwood.com. Brian at Schwood.com and say second class, please. There you the go. The subject line. And then in the body of the email, just say your favorite type of ice cream. Uh, also, maybe uh, finish my rap for me just so I can send it to David McBrady. Re yeah, yeah. Recite the rap yep. by memory and then finish the rap. <laughs> 
uh, by your creativity. Uh, now, uh, I'm really are, are, are you nervous? Uh, less so now, uh, because uh, just asking everybody, hey, what are you hoping to get? And then now we're having a real conversation. I'm like, oh, yeah, I can get that. Uh, and then also, uh, 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 man, as tedious as it is, like laying out the PowerPoints and all that stuff. So we, we have the landscape. I'm, I'm excited. I'm very, very excited and proud. Uh, I cannot wait for this. I know it is something that like you are you are a hundred percent sold on and if as if anybody who's listening to Brian cannot hear the sincerity and earnestness that is dripping off his voice when it comes to this project, let me assure you like this is going to be amazing. I'm so excited for everybody that's going to be there i I'll, I'll be excited to meet everybody that's going to be there, but uh, uh this is going to be something that you would like to be a part of going forward and i I don't want to ruin it, but the last time I was this excited, it was raining. <laughs> right next topic we're closing out rtx yeah that was a surprise uh yeah well i mean i only found out from you to uh, spill the deets we're gonna be at uh rooster teeth expo yeah july one through three uh-huh and on three yep the last day of the convention yep i looked at the schedule yep the full schedule oh and at 5 30 yep there's us. Yep. And then we're leading up to the big, the big act. Ted Kaczynski. <laughs> <laughs> and his manifesto wow, backup it. trio. <laughs> Schwab, Schwab. <laughs> I hate technology. <laughs> Schwab, Schwab. <laughs> I'm about to drop some bombs. <laughs> Schwab, Schwab. Nope. All right. <laughs> Please check your mail <laughs> for me. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You should. It was, it was very. Schwab, Schwab. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. Uh, 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 everybody, uh, where are we supposed to go for uh, to get credit for the ticks? Bit.ly slash Great Night RTX. Capital G, capital N, capital RTX. Uh, no, but so seriously, we are closing shit out. And if there's ever a moment for which I felt very bonded to, to Rooster Teeth Expo, is that for years and years and years, when we did Dragon Con, we closed out Sunday night. Yep. And it was the, the spot that we were happiest being. Uh, everybody that was there was really happy to be there. It wasn't house. people that were, that were like uh, fucking around. And then, you know, uh, Dragon Con's its own uh, bizarre politics thing where uh, now we're on Saturday where there's a lot of other stuff and, and, and we weren't on Sunday, blah, blah, blah. Now we get back to where I think we are strongest. We are the strongest. Like, like, like you're going bull. to want to come hang out with us. This is our time slot. We did not ask for it. It just fucking happened. We're going to be drunk. Oh, we're going to be drunk. <laughs> it's going to be 530. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, know, you, you know what normally happens? 530 on a Sunday. I am high. I am very high. I am edible high. And, and, and I, will, I will be that for RTX if it is asked of me. He said wanting to get high. <laughs> <laughs> or if you don't ask. I'll or if you honest. don't ask. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm a rebel, Donnie. <laughs> I dare you to... Whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. RTX, we'll see you guys there. Bryce? <laughs> I mean, no, you have to call for Bryce next topic. No. I won't. That's the next topic. Stunning joke. <laughs> oh, that's why he was hesitating. Gotcha. He didn't want to hit the go. I don't entirely know what this is, Justin. It's stunning uh -huh. charges. I don't. I was told that there are stunning charges. Oh fuck! <laughs> oh fuck! Price. Yeah. Is it what? true? <laughs> Whoa! Straight to the cross examination. That you? <laughs> no opening statement. Myself, Brian Brushwood, uh -huh. Bonnie Brushwood, and Rachel Oppenheimer are in a group chat where we share our Wordle scores. Yes or no, please. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'll allow it. <laughs> How long has that gone on? For uh, gosh, months. Uh, just just least. answer the question. <laughs> for for many many months, almost a year probably. How would you rate your performance in this group chat? I'll allow it. In <laughs> <laughs> thanks. I do pretty well at Wordle. I play Wordle game. I play a lot of word games. I played the crossword uh -huh. before Wordle. I do pretty uh -huh. well. I think I have like a 98% Bryce, would you accessory. like to call any witnesses? <laughs> I don't know what I've been charged with, actually. 
He's a I, stunning charge. As, <laughs> as both the judge <laughs> and your attorney, I strongly <laughs> Suggest you call me as a witness. Uh, yes, please. My attorney Brian Brushman. To the, uh, uh, why am I? Calling How are you, you sustaining things and now you're a witness? Uh, listen, I've been friends with Bryce for a long time. Uh huh. I ain't gonna lie. I've seen him play a lot of word games. We were on a plane once, and I was like trying to sleep, but I looked over and he was playing a word game. That's it for me. That's my time, y'all. You make it sound like I was keeping you. Was I keeping you up? I just. Uh, oh my god Look, oh, now I, i'm being cross-examined <laughs> i don't know what i'm being charged with officer habeas corpus motherfucker am i being detained <laughs> justin bryce <laughs> if i were to tell you that there have been multiple whispers <laughs> what what that bryce Otherwise known street name Neshcom. <laughs> AKA. Castillo. Yeah. Is a cheater at Wordle. Whoa, 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 whoa. Would that surprise you or not? Whoa. Would that surprise you whoa. or not? It Objection. Would it surprise you or not? Yes, it would. Objection. I sustain. <laughs> so. I'm sorry. The suggestion is that I'm I'm cheating at okay, I'm I, the accusing the accusations I'm There are waiting the witness. There are whispers. There are whispers that sometimes your results seem uh, suspicious. Very good. I'm good at the game. Mmm. Yeah, about that. Mmm. <laughs> Good at the game. I'm good at good the game. Good at the game. You want to know what's interesting about that, Bryce? <laughs> what? Is that you're good at the game <laughs> when others are good at the game. Oh, oh my goodness. For example, <laughs> oh, I mean, this you're... <laughs> morning. <laughs> do you remember who in the group chat got the wordle on two first? Uh... <laughs> on two first, mm -hmm. uh, I guess it. Looking back, it was Wordle three six seven. That yes. would have been Bonnie Brushwood. She answered it first. Yes, and she submitted correct. And, and, and how and how uh, many did she, and, and yes, how many me. did she get it? In? I she have the record. Three. Go ahead, me. Uh, okay. Let the record show that at five thirty four this a.m., <laughs> Rachel got it in five. Uh, Justin, no, what are you doing? I'm I'm having him go through it. Okay, I'm just the judge. What do I know? What? No, you were just right, so a after, witness. <laughs> so after 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 Bonnie got it in three, uh huh. It looks like at seven thirty seven, Justin Robert Young, uh huh, uh, got it in two. Well, that seems that seems suspicious. Who got it? Who got it next? Uh, well, after that, uh, Bonnie emphasized your answer. That's okay. true. Impressive. And she was she emphasized it yeah. entirely, <laughs> and then, uh, oh my God. I'm just uh, realizing. About 10 minutes later, one Bryce Castillo does also get it in two. Interesting. Bryce. <laughs> hey, Bryce. Oh Bryce, God. Bryce, when, when you publish your answers, uh -huh. you block out your first word, don't you? I do, because uh, I do that for you, because you made it very clear you don't like knowing what my first word is and what the Right, but normally is. you would do it with, like, black boxes or television sets. Yeah. Um, I would, now I, that I'm looking at it. Oh, God. What did you black out your first word with this time? Well, I guess I guess I used the peace sign because I got it in two. Oh, sometimes the killers want to telegraph their crime. Don't they? Sometimes the criminals want to be caught. <laughs> sometimes they're sending signals. Bryce! <laughs> I'll allow it. Bryce! <laughs> Just... Do you keep track <laughs> of the starter words of other members of the group chat? Yes or no? No. Y'all yeah. change it all the time. I'm the only Do one. Do you keeps... know my starter word? I don't know it. If you were to guess it, what would it be? My guess would be boner, but I don't. Guess <laughs> <it>. <laughs> Well, this took a turn. That was I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're not an adieu guy. I know you're not an adieu fella. 
I, I, but so I don't. I, so I don't. you deny these stunning charges <laughs> that you cheat at Wordle. We haven't even like we. It used to be months ago. We would share like all of our words. We would yes. share all of our plays. We haven't even done that in I don't know a, a while. And so do you reject these stunning charges that we're not as <laughs> intimate as we once used to be in the Wordle group chat? <laughs> Yes, we used to be close. All right, Sorry. I hereby sentence all of us to a Wordle Curdle. <laughs> what? What is the Wordle, Wordle Curdle? Curdle? We shall bend up and snuggle and share our words. Oh. Because that's the only way to come together, people. Listen up. Brian Brushwood here. <laughs> <laughs> Judge, jury, attorney on behalf of Bryce Castillo. Yeah, <laughs> Wordle Curdle. I'm listening. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, Walk my word, like my word. Okay. So I mean, the, here's the tough thing: is I I do keep the same word. I always keep the same word. I am Team Beast every day. I start with B E A S T. So why do you black it out? Because I because because, because otherwise because I I'm, Brian I'm will the cheater. Know. I'm yeah, the Brian one will cheat. who will be able to look so at your cheating. Okay. Uh, overruled. Wow. <laughs> now, I'm not going to allow this. New stunning <laughs> charges are dropped. <laughs> Price <Bryce>, next topic. Who's the thing? It's this one. Price rage. Okay, okay. Yeah, Bryce, yeah, yeah, yeah. you barely skated Bryce off <laughs> with only a misdemeanor charge. Wait, I still got a misdemeanor? Yes. What did I do? For, for speeding. Oh, that <laughs> was, was awful fast. Okay. You know, sometimes no, 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 I just... No, no, you know, you're up. It was that, reckless. That, that, that actually was... just means you need to listen to Missy Elliott. <laughs> Sometimes I do the wordle like at 2 a.m. and then okay. I don't say it. Now that you have the high horse, okay. do you oh, want to ruin it your early. position? Send it early because otherwise, look, look, you got you got people that believe you cheat. So. I got. <laughs> I'm just saying. I got yell. I got. I like. I, I'm I'm the only one that wants to make it content, but like. <laughs> <laughs> I got yelled at for posting a little too early the other day. No, fuck that. it. Post it early. Yeah. Look, I uh, uh, so over the weekend it was my birthday. Um, happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday to you and David McRaney. <laughs> what a dickhead. <laughs> So uh, I've been, I've been, uh, do, when you, Brian, question for you. <laughs> Gloat about it. That yes was, or no answer, please. Yes or no answer. When you get mail, mm. what is the easiest part of getting, uh, getting mail? <laughs> Saying, Corey. <laughs> where, where's Go that mail? Go pick up my mail. <laughs> Okay. No, you know, I can work with this. You know, I can work with this. Imagine you paid Corey to just get your mail. I don't have to imagine. <laughs> imagine Corey didn't didn't go get you your mail. Oh, I boy. would say, uh <laughs> yeah. boy. He'd say more at backspin. <laughs> this is not <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have to be good. Corey is the only person running the cameras today. Uh, look, look, I, I, my apartment complex makes me use this middleman service for receiving packages. <laughs> so they call you at the office and they're like, Brycey, Brycey, see, have a seat. Brycey, seat, Brycey, seat. Yeah. listen up. I We've don't been... know what character this is. <laughs> it's, it's me, apartment manager Joe. Okay. I yeah. Know. How do you think who I got does here? nicknames? <laughs> yeah, that's right, Bryce. You see. Yeah. All right, a little less jabberjaw, a little more sit down, shut the fuck up. All okay, right, listen. Sure. I'm sitting down. I'm Bryce. You know, Florence. I'm I'm very smart <laughs> and handsome, and all my friends don't make fun of me on my birthday. <laughs> how old are you? Um, uh, how old are you? Oh, 21. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. Firm, firm 21. That's germ. All right. So the. Uh, <laughs> uh, People been seeing you all over town, grabbing your own package. Is packages? Yeah. Knock it off. I hired a guy. You hired a guy to grab my package. Yep. All your packages. I want to see you touch your packages again. Why? Uh. Cause. Cause. Of. Of. 
The curse. The curse <laughs> of the, the ancient, ancient package. package is feasty from. Uh, hey, throw marbles. Cast marbles. <laughs> <laughs> Run away. <laughs> Why the, can't you get your own package? Because because uh, it used to be that they would take the packages and then you would sign them out through the office. Well, they don't want to pay someone to do that. So they're. Was so, that post COVID or not? Uh, it. Oh gosh, uh, it would have been post COVID, I think. So they, yeah, they didn't want like all of a sudden they're laying people off. They're like, Let, let's not have a, a a package person. So let's pay one of these super high end, very efficient companies what? that'll receive the package and seamlessly concierge white glove bring it to your door, like wow. Downton Abbey for every little Amazon package. Oh, so, Monsieur, your package. Oh. <laughs> I haven't seen Downton Abbey. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. If you paid a Netflix amount of money every month, a Netflix, one whole Netflix. Wait, wait, hold on. You How have much to pay can it. That be, you have to pay it. Yeah, I have to pay it. Wait, so you're just mandated to pay it, and you can't opt out. Absolutely, that is the case. Correct. Jesus, it is fucking awful. I hate it. And so I was trying to receive. A package my parents sent me a birthday gift for my birthday. Was it your birthday? It was my birthday I'm on sorry. Sunday. I'm sorry. They do you. I'll allow it. <laughs> they, <laughs> so you're trying to get a package. I'm trying to get a package. It arrived. He's trying to get his hands on a package here. It arrived there at their building on the 15th last week. So wait, hold on. Where does it come from? His uh, parents from Arizona. They, no, no, my no, parents, no, 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 no. But it has to come to a way right. station before it comes there. It's got to be somewhere here in Austin, like like, like a UPS facility well, yeah, where well, you can just come pick it up. It's it, and funny you would say that. It's actually not even in Austin, Texas. Where what? is it? It's in Manchaca, Texas, which is another city. And it's not and it's, pronounced the same way as the road. No. Oh God. How is it pronounced for the record? I. I the, <laughs> I think the city should Welcome just be Austin. called Manchaca. <laughs> I think the city Austin. should just be called Manchaca, but the road can still be called Manchac. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. I haven't heard bullshit like that since I was south of Houston Street, New York City. <laughs> Houston. <laughs> Houston. It's fine. Mm, idiot. Angelica Houston. <laughs> and, and 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 so it arrived early on the 15th. Oh my gosh. And they say, oh Bryce. Ah! Bryce. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Let him go. Let him go. Okay. All right. They go, oh, Bryce. <laughs> this package <laughs> is simply too big. We absolutely cannot deliver this package. It's simply too big. No what? wonder he got uh, gloat on the second uh, word. Shut up, you <laughs> bitch. <laughs> yeah. Deliver that big package. Deliver yeah. me my phone. You know what's in that package? What? Pipes. This motherfucker's laying pipes. Yes. Yeah. And it's back trying to get a big pack. He's right. trying to get these pipes delivered. I'm yeah. trying to get some pipes in the mail. You gotta lay down that pipe with that big package. That's yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, wait a minute. And I... then what happened? But you were denied. Then Hold I on. was denied getting the, my big pipe package. I just now <laughs> realized that we're not talking about plumbing. Uh, <laughs> your parents sent you, like, weed pipes? No, they are actually, it's a clothing rack. It's actually, it's actually iron pipe. What the oh. fuck were you thinking? Wow. Wow. <laughs> weed wow, pipes. Brian. <laughs> uh, an assortment of weed pipes from his parents? Yeah, they're cool. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'll allow it. Like some, like, <laughs> one hitters, bubblers. Yeah. Little roar bong. Whole bunch of, like, a, 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 a themed after breakfast cereals. You got the Fruit Loops. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the Fruit Loops pipe. Yeah. Uh, a special K. <laughs> Reloaded. Be like that's wow. a different pipe. Pipe. <laughs> usually, usually have yeah. flowers in them. Yeah. Exactly. You yeah. guys are making I, me nostalgic. Now. I don't know. They sent you a pipe. It's no. It's a no. It's a clothing it's a rack. rack. It's a garment rack. But you, you but you connect the, it with pipe. But it's made out of pipes. Yeah. Yes. Anyway. Right. But he was making a joke because it was all because it pot. also is like penis and sometimes yeah. I joke yeah. about packages and penises and, penis and pipes sure. and. Dicks and cum and balls and <laughs> tumescent pipes. Purple. Were they Mario. Purple? The pipes purple? Uh, excuse me. I'll allow it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, that's Waluigi. Ah. 
Yeah. So, Bryce, <laughs> how can we fix this? It's it is fixed, but it it's you know what? It could did be it get there? When could, did it arrive? Yesterday. It finally got Monday, there. the twentieth. Five days late. The fucking the day after my birthday. <laughs> how many times did they try to deliver it? They brought the box. Someone brought the box to the front door of my apartment four times before they delivered. You know, you should be best friends with the poor motherfucker who had to lug that thing back and forth between uh, their their center and your your place. You yeah, guys you're... are the only victims in this story. Uh, uh, you want to know why Justin's saying that? Why? Because both you motherfuckers cheat at Wordle. Uh, oh, oh, boo! Shocking. Boo! Shock. Stunning accusations. Boo! Nothing has stunk worse than you, Brian. <laughs> uh, the world that existed before Patreon.com slash Great Night. <laughs> now, this is the first time I'm hearing about this. What's up with the Patreon? Patreon.com slash Great Night is an amazing website where all your dreams come true. Yeah, well, what if my dream is for, I don't know, twice the number of episodes per week. We've been waiting for you at Patreon.com slash Great Night. Well, explain one month where I'm going to be really glad. Glad that I'm a subscriber at patreon.com slash great night and specifically why the month with five Thursdays <laughs> 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 because those are the month where you get five bonus episodes Wow! because our bonus episodes come out on Thursday. So there'll never be more than five. No, not even this next month where we had a meeting in which we discussed the possibility of there releasing... There might be a six... Well, I don't know if it's five Thursdays. Though. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway. The point is you, they, uh, they should right. be patrons. So, yeah, here, here's the deal. Uh, <laughs> this is a good time to get on Patreon.com slash Night Attack because... Mm -hmm. uh, slash what? Oh! Unusual, cruel and unusual. Try to finish the ad without missing a word. I'm Go glad, ahead I'm and freestyle. Wearing, no, no, frame it up because I have my Callus Dowboys fake uh, a NASA t shirt <laughs> on. So I actually look the part right now. Uh, uh, yeah, patreon.com slash great night mm. is where you need to go. And yes, it is a great time to be on there because I'm leaving the country. <laughs> yeah! yeah! Woo! Hey, hey, here we go. Thank you. Yeah! <laughs> uh, weird benefit, but I'll allow it. Go on. Uh, and so we will not be doing live shows the final three weeks of July. Just, but yes, if you are listening on the podcast, that means that you will get the best of of the uh the, you the got bonus it. episodes that have come out the bones and for bonus people you will be getting fresh episodes because we hold up for a solid 5 hours last saturday and it was it was a power a, a power but a, a quintet yep uh, uh, and and we and we busted through 3 hours worth of content and so you guys are going to get increasingly unhinged and fucked up content. It's so uh, crazy. Uh, uh, yeah. The first Spread time I was on July. Bones, too. It was the first time I was on Bones. Uh, you, yeah, you, it was It was a journey. Or have yes. I done one before? I thought you had done one, but maybe not. Maybe not. Mm, maybe I did one. I don't know. Uh, by the way, you know who was the MVP of Patience was Bryce, <laughs> who the later it got, he was like, just patiently reminding <laughs> us over and over again, you know I have a game, right? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> We're doing this. Uh, uh, I, I don't want to start doing the bits that <laughs> became runners we that, that were literally just uh, uh, the dumbest shit ever. But it's just one of those things where it's like, like a sleepover where you stay up too late and, and, and like, like the dumbest stuff becomes funny. But I think people will really enjoy it. You will enjoy us steadily going crazier and crazier yep. the longer that we just stare at each other and record uh, uh, but it, it it will be a great time to get on patreon.com slash great night. Yeah. Blah. 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 Hey, Bryce, do you have a game for us? I do have a game. This is uh, one of our first times doing a special sequel game. Oh, oh my favorite uh, Microsoft product. That's that's right. <laughs> we uh, last week we did a new game called uh, uh, Kids Say Kids Tell the Stupidest Jokes. Didn't <laughs> <they>? <laughs> yep. Yeah. 
Well, uh, I've got a new game for you today. Join me in welcoming... Artificial Intelligence Tells the Stupidest Joke! Yes! I bet they're great. Uh, so I've taken the pun I've taken the setups to last week's punchlines <laughs> that were written oh my by God. children. I have fed them into uh, OpenAI's DaVinci GPT uh, autocomplete text generator. And you guys, uh, much like last week, are going to have to guess what the punchline to these setups are as determined by uh, OpenAI's DaVinci Dude, GPT. Fucking, fucking Sam Altman's going to get a writing credit on this show if we keep just using him <laughs> for our comedy. Uh, so so, uh, so uh, do, do we have... I, I, I am hoping that we get to compare the AI punchlines to the kid punchlines. Yeah, you might even remember them because they are going to be the same setups that I <laughs> prepared for last Perfect. week's game. Uh, well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, so uh, for example, uh, here we go. We we asked this one last time, I believe. Uh, the question was, "What do babies want for Christmas?" <laughs> uh, I asked OpenAI's Da Vinci, "What do babies want for Christmas?" I told it, "Finish this children's joke." What do babies want for Christmas? Okay, so you told it it was a joke. Yes, I told it it was a children's joke. I told it to finish it. So it uh, wasn't just like you asking the AI, correct. "What do babies want for Christmas?" Correct. Uh, and so uh, you guys are both going to guess what the punchline is. Because it would is. probably say a healthy relationship with their father. Probably. Or maybe like milk. <laughs> or milk. <laughs> or, or milk. milk. <laughs> or milk. <laughs> or, or a nappy yeah. change. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Tomato, tomato. And then it's kind of the thing. So, uh, Justin, we're going to start with Pipes. what do babies want for Christmas? What do you think OpenAI's Da Vinci uh, said? Was the uh, 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 their two front teeth. <laughs> okay, Justin's gonna say two front teeth. Yeah, Ryan. their dignity back. <laughs> <laughs> it's Wait, a robot. It's safe yeah. fucked up shit. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And the baby's like, I've been shitting myself in public <laughs> for fucking weeks. I have no I teeth. I just want my dignity back. <laughs> I've been shitting all I and pissing myself my dignity all back. over the place <laughs> in front of new clients, my parents. <laughs> Uh, uh, Brett, do you do you do you, uh, do you want yeah. to try playing today? Yes. Okay. I will play. What do babies want for Christmas? Chocolate bumper cats. I'm um, sorry. What? It's AI. You never know. <laughs> you never really know. I'll allow we got, it. We got a fucking writer here. <laughs> 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 All right. It was chocolate uh, bumper bumper cats. cats? Bumper cats. Yeah. Yes. Bumper cats. Okay. Brian As said. We all know. Uh, getting CBC. A... <laughs> uh, Brian said getting the dignity back. Yep. Okay. And Justin said they're two front teeth. All right. Uh, we asked an artificial intelligence, what do babies want for Christmas? And it said, babies want lots of things for Christmas, but mostly they just want to be loved. Oh. Oh. Uh, really? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's funny because oh it God. makes you think. Fucking Seinfeld over here. <laughs> you ever you know, you know, all these babies <laughs> sitting around at Christmas? You ever notice? <laughs> that never notice. What is it about babies? That is going to be a Brian poll. Oh, yeah. oh, Jesus. All right. So you know how Brian this game is. Yep. I'm, I'm in. I'm, I'm buckled in. Let's okay. go. Man, I feel I feel like I got to I gotta get another win here. I, I I blew my case to prosecute Bryce. Like, Bryce is the, <laughs> it was the like, fucking OJ of our time right now like I'm not running scot free i'm not loose he's finding like he's on the golf course finding the real cheater i'm not loose <laughs> all right brian we're starting with you on this ready one. we asked an ai to finish this joke what does a computer do when it's on a star <clears throat> what does a computer do when it's on a star what did da vinci say computers do many things <laughs> <laughs> but they're all based on the works of alan turing he was a star <laughs> of computers. Turing star. Okay, good. Yep. All right, Brett, what do you think? What does a computer do when it's on a star? Uh, uh, by the way, I know we've been plugging David McGraney's book, and so go <laughs> how buy, mine's changed. Go buy, yeah. how, how mine changed. Unfortunately, it's actually just been surpassed on the Amazon rankings uh -oh. by the brand new book by Bryce Neshkamp Castillo, <laughs> <laughs> If I Cheated. <laughs> I, I, I don't. How would I have 
I'm sorry. Look, I'm, we apologize to David McGrady, but the, it, it's a gigantic hit on Amazon. If I cheated, wouldn't I just cheat to the first word? You'd have a friend Spoken. there, and you'd write it in, in, in second oh person, and the Goldmans would get the money. <laughs> All right. Jesus, right. Uh, Brian said... Uh, I said Alan Turing. Alan Brett. Turing and a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> Brett, what does a computer do when it's on a star? Computers do many things when they're on a star, but mostly, most likely they would just melt. Uh, okay. Most, because most stars are very hot. Yeah, because stars are very hot. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Stars are very hot. All right. Uh, it might melt. Justin, what does a computer do when it's on a star? Straight fucking. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. All right. Yep. There you go. Straight fucking. Yeah. Silence does. Just straight fucking. The straight. Just once, though, not twice. I repeated it twice for emphasis. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. There we go. All right. We asked Da Vinci, what does a computer do when it's on a star? And Da Vinci said... A computer on a star burns brighter. That's a <laughs> go on. Brett point. Oh fuck uh... you! What have I ever done to you, Bryce? <laughs> <laughs> also, happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Happy birthday. You. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brett. What is our score God after damn. two points? Our score now. <laughs> Fuck you and your perfect 21 year old uh, skin. <laughs> oh, 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 Justin. Justin. Get you, the fuck out of here. Enough with your histrionics. You have no points, Justin. I know. Unlike you don't think I Brian know that? and I, who are winners, and we each have a point. <laughs> <laughs> you just go feral <laughs> in the courtroom. Enough. Enough. Look, all right. Things haven't been going great for me lately. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't, hey, it ain't a secret. It's hey, fine. hey, hey, hey. You got this, man. Bryce, Bryce, quick. Give him another question. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Here yeah, we yeah, go. Yeah. Here's one. All right, Justin, this is going to go to you first. Go yeah. Ahead. To you. But fucking finally. To you. Uh, we asked uh, Open AI's Da Vinci, what do aliens eat? What do they eat? Justin? What's the punchline to this joke? What do punchline? aliens eat? Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> that one. They eat pussy. Pussy. Um, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Flying blind on a rocket sled. Nom, nom, aliens. <laughs> Eat. <laughs> Pussy. Choo, 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 choo. Being the merciless. <laughs> aliens. Nom, 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 nom. Eat. <laughs> Pussy. How much more? Hans Zarkov. <laughs> You're <laughs> never right. <laughs> aliens. <laughs> Me, pussy. David McGrady's book is on the tarp. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure he loves. He's that literally one. out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to help. Uh, uh, Justin, what do aliens eat? Microchips. <laughs> Microchips. Perfect. <laughs> Brent, what do aliens eat? Aliens eat al other aliens. <laughs> They eat other aliens, you're yes. going to say. They, yes. eat, they eat other aliens. All right. Brian Brushwood, what do aliens eat? Hard-working Americans' jobs. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Look, it's fed by the wow. internet. I don't, I don't control it. Wow. That's what the AI wrote. I'm is, sorry. Is it connected to Newsmax? <laughs> yeah, I was, no, was going to say, is it, is it, is it uh, yeah. powered directly by Ross Perot's <laughs> mausoleum? Sorry, what I meant to say was... Um, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> All right, we've got our answers hard here. Hardworking Americans. <laughs> the jobs are hardworking. It's not the they Americans. Are, not really the Americans. <laughs> Lazy. Sorry about that. We just we siesta. All right, uh, your answers. Justin said microchips. Brian said American jobs and Brett. No, said, no. Actually, you have to include Brian's entire song uh, uh, before my <laughs> answer. Sure, 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 sure. So it, it, it begins with om nom 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 nom. The answer formerly known as om nom 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 nom. <laughs> And Brett's answer of aliens. Other aliens. We were looking for pizza. Oh. <laughs> Feel like I got a good shot. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, I'm going to have to put this one in the science machine just because I, I can't figure this one out. Sure. Hate to be science. I will just say that pepperoni boop, boop. can be made from other aliens. Boop, 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 so. boop, boop, How the fuck do you know? <laughs> How do you fucking uh, uh, really hostile? I know expert? pizza people. I know pizza hostile people. Like, oh, no, tonight. this alien, you can only get a mortadella out of this one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> well, I, fuck me then. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. That is a point to Justin Ryder. Hey! All right, one more of uh, of these ones from last week here. Oh, you might remember this one. Uh, Brett, we'll start with you on this one, actually. Oh. Uh, Brett, the first, uh, the first setup is, what do you call a camel with three legs? Do you remember this? No, 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 no. I know that last week... I said Eileen was the name of the camel. This week, I will say that it's uh, man. Okay, a uh, a uh, 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 tripod camel. A tripod, mm, tripod yeah. camel. Love it. It's not that there are any of these are funny. That's coming in from from. Uh, Divinity, Don't judge. But it's not me making the joke. It's what I think Da Vinci is making the joke out of. That's right. <laughs> All right, there we go. He said uh, tripod camel. By, by, by the way, by the way, this might not have been picked up on Mike, but you just got heckled by Bonnie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because yep. because there's only one rule that, that has been drilled into her head not by Brian, the game. which is this don't, is a comedy show. <laughs> don't try keep to win making the game. jokes. Don't try to win the game. And when as soon as she saw somebody trying to do that, she literally yelled it at because you. Because Bonnie's <laughs> never done that before, right? <laughs> Why do you think she keeps getting yelled at? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Justin, what do you call a camel with three legs? Oh, he's slow to get to market. Ah! Huh? Thanks, Dad. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> See, there's three legs, Brian. <laughs> so a, a camel slow. normally has four legs. Yep. So if a camel with four legs... <laughs> Starting at the Marrakesh village, <laughs> yep, is going to the market, which is 25 kilometers away. Okay, and at the on. same time, a camel with three legs Very is leaving from the driven. same Marrakesh village to get to market at the exact same rate of speed. Which camel gets there before? The, uh, other? the answer is Bryce, uh, a dry hump. <laughs> 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 a dry hump, he says. Yep. All right. It's a dry hump. Yep. Yes. Yeah. You say, you As opposed to those wet super humps. wet humps on those four legged camels. Because <laughs> they have legs to spread. Oh. <laughs> what? Wait, why is this offensive? How many of you guys have four legged camels? Nom, 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 Pussy is what everyone think about. Nom 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 nom. All right. <laughs> Come on, three wise men. <laughs> Elkior, get him. Three-legged camels. <laughs> are we? Uh, <laughs> Because they keep milking those humps. We all got done just <laughs> eating pussy. <laughs> um, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> all right. The question was, oops, that's not it. Uh, the question was, what do you call a camel with three legs? We've got three answers here. Brett said a tripod camel. Justin said slow to get to market. Wink. Don't, don't make me hear it. <laughs> and Brian also had an answer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we were looking for... A three-humped camel. Oh, my that's, that's answer. A close you had hump in it. Yeah. You said dry hump. Yeah. I don't see any wetness. That's a Brian Paul. Hey! hey! All right. Nom, 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 nom. After four rounds, Brett, what are our scores? Our scores are <laughs> Justin and I have one point. Ah. Yep. Brian... Brushwood yep. has two points. And a very happy one. By the way, I we I, we don't normally call out show titles during <laughs> the show, but this is just so bizarre. Like to explain this to even us five hours after we're done with the show, the title, all caps, 
Why is this offensive? <laughs> exclamation point, question mark, exclamation point. Hum, num, 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 <laughs> num, num, num. You would have no idea. <laughs> Imagine if this episode was the only thing left of human civilization. Oh, my God. <laughs> the aliens would have nothing to do but eat each other's pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Take American jobs. <laughs> and take American jobs. Okay. All right. This is our final round. This is worth, of course, but three points. Oh, wow. Ooh. So it's still any What the fuck? Game. Wow. Jesus. Everyone's still in it. Wow. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. And you didn't even need to cheat to make it happen. Fuck. Hey, gloat about it. I will. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you the setup. And I would like to apologize for that. Thank you. Right? And apology accepted. I'm gonna give you a setup that a Not child. You. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna give Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. And many more. I'm gonna give you the punch. Uh, the setup to a children's joke. Uh, and I'm going to give you two punchlines. You are going to have to tell me which is the punchline a child wrote. Oh, God damn it. And which is the punchline that an artificial intelligence wrote. Mm. Let's fucking go. I got this one. Right? I got this one. Uh, the setup, And we're going to start uh, with Brian on yep, this one. Yep. Brian, the setup is what is a rabbit's favorite genre of music? Oh, Hip hop. Now I'm going to give you two punchlines of this. And you're going to have to tell me which one. The kid said pussy. The robot said hip hop. <laughs> All right, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> no, the punchline, uh, punchline A, a rabbit's favorite genre of music is rap. Or punchline B, I don't know yet. Oh. Justin and Brett, start thinking about these because this is going to be the same question for you. Is it either A? Fucking I, easy. I'm going to go easy, stone cold, easy, no thought about it. A hundred percent. It's locked in in my brain. I just want to give you the correct answer. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, easy. The, oh, my God. Is this easy? The Jesus. So <laughs> fucking easy. The kid, wow. <laughs> the kid said rap. The robot said I'm I'm a dumb robot. All right, you're gonna say that the kid said rap. Justin, the kid said rap. The kid says rap. That's my autobiography. <laughs> they say when I came out of my mom's pussy, I said two things: um nom nom and rap. <laughs> <laughs> I know where we're going with this one. There was no way that it was gonna survive the entire show yeah. <laughs> without getting extraordinarily gross. <laughs> Anyone who's listened to this show knows that. <laughs> Don't be surprised. <laughs> it was always going to get... All right. All right. Uh, so Brian has said that the kids, uh, the, the rap... Uh, oh, he said a lot more. I mean, like, yeah. hey, let's not bury the lead. <laughs> I, 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 I don't remember. How do you think that's going to play on TikTok this week? <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, let me just say that uh, Josie has lost phone privileges for a week. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, one of these punchlines is written, written by an AI. What is a rabbit's favorite genre of music? Is it a rabbit's favorite genre of music is rap? Or yeah. I don't know yet. Which one did the AI write? Uh, the AI wrote rap. And the child wrote I don't know yet. And you're going to say the child wrote I don't know yet. All yes. right. Brett Weaver, which is the punchline to this joke? You know, I can't really even do game theory on Join this, me. But I am totally... Join me. I'm in agreement with Justin. And on we this. will rule this game yes. together. <laughs> so you are also going to say that the AI said that... The kid said, I don't know yet. Whoa. Okay, there we go. The kid said, I don't know yet. There we go. All right. Getting ready for a tiebreaker. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> oh, why, why did I make a game where you could tiebreaker? <laughs> <laughs> did I think this through? Okay. Happy yeah. birthday. I don't know, man. Uh, uh, maybe, uh, maybe you should have rigged it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Justin, that's a shocking accusation. <laughs> All right. Uh, we are looking for a... Uh, for which one the AI wrote the joke was, what is a rabbit's favorite genre of music? 
the AI ultimately said we were looking for a rabbit's favorite genre of music is rap. That's <laughs> Justin yeah. and Boy, We want some pussy. <laughs> hey, no, 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 we no, want some pussy. No, 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 and we no, have no, no, no. two winners tonight. Hey. Hey. If you have an idea for a game. Hey. Oh, 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 oh. In your face. Oh, no, 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 no. It's fucking aliens. <laughs> If you've got an idea for a game, please send it into our email, greatnightpod at gmail.com. You can send an idea for a game. You can send in a question, a comment, a concern, anything. Greatnightpod at gmail.com is where you can go. Thank you. Your... Ryan, what's going through your mind right now? Uh, 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 what's going through your brain? What's going through your, your, your head right now? Yeah. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Yeah, dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dog. I'm with that, my man. I'm with that. Uh, uh, oh, shit, shit, shit. Um, everybody's getting hip to the hot new trend. AI, AI, very hot right now. Uh, and it's people, people, people love the uh, uh, um, uh, uh, what is currently called Dolly Mini. Uh, uh, uh people love. Uh, 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 we we were playing around last week with the actual Dolly Two. And uh, a, a GPT, I've seen a lot more. People are just like fucking around with it because I think they're actually realizing that this shit is really, really fun. Uh, even at is like, like, like a, as it's derping its way through, uh, a, a, you know, comprehension. It is fun to watch it do it, and fun to understand when it's good and when it is bad. And get get uh, get better and better at it. Uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, you know. It, Everything dad does, who cares? It's dad shit until you discover it, and then you're all, it's suddenly awesome. So uh, uh, Penelope uh, discovered, you know, like Dolly, and, and and now she's like, oh, that's like that thing. I'm like, yes, the thing I've been telling you about with the autocomplete and the open AI and all that stuff. Uh, so she sends me a bunch of stuff that she got sent, including one that just the prompt is, write me a 4chan green text. So explain, hold on. For people who might not know. Yep. As I know, we're all on 4chan. Uh, uh, the format of 4chan green text, how would you describe it? Uh, it's it's all hyper first person, just stripping away everything except for just the, the, the minimalist number of words about your personal so first very person experience. First person Kurt Vonnegut like level sentences, like, like maybe five words at most, uh, uh, and you're describing... A, a very personal experience, correct? Very, like, like, a, like a diary level experience, correct? So uh, <clears throat> this one. So says, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait. So so here we go. This is uh, uh, on on our green text on Reddit, just for folks who are not aware of this entire genre. Bryce, can you read that? Sure, and I won't read all of it. Uh, pretend I'm Geralt. Start mixing my protein shakes with strong alcohol, like their Witcher po potions. Meditate in between sets. Take notes of various creatures around the gym, like Reuters and hand beasts, uh, and their behavior. We so you're yeah, it is like uh, you also start it with a bracket, like the old old timey like a quote in uh, email formatting. Right. Uh, uh, so in this case, a a, a robot uh, completing it. Uh, the prompt is write me a four chan green text. So, so people right now in, in in the chat room are saying, uh, uh, be a channer. be watching podcast, <laughs> host start reading green text. <laughs> yes, correct. You got it. Uh, so it says, uh, wake up, my hair is dry. Fuck no, dot PNG. This is where the robot takes over. Take a shower. Get out. Hair is still dry. WTF dot PNG. Put on a hat. Go outside. See a guy with a dry head. He is bald. Bald dot PNG. <laughs> Realize I'm bald. Bald dot PNG. Cry myself to sleep. <laughs> Now that is a story. That is a green text story. Uh, uh, this one, I, I think, has a little more intensity to it. Uh, <clears throat> read a 4chan green text. In class, teacher shows a picture of Keanu Reeves. Robot takes over. Says, quote, this is Keanu Reeves. Some kids in the back start laughing. Teacher looks sternly at the class. Says, what's so funny? One of the kids in the back raises his hand. Says, his name is Keanu Reeves. Whole class erupts in laughter. Teacher is so mad. Says, you think that's funny? Well, I'll show you what's really funny. Pulls out picture of manatee. 
says, this is Keanu Reeves. <laughs> and that's the end. <laughs> At school, bring in my dog. It's not a dog. It's a fucking coyote. <laughs> Everyone is fucking screaming. Principal calls the cops. <laughs> Coyote is just chilling in my locker. I am expelled. <laughs> Be me. See yurt at school. <laughs> Be yurt. <laughs> TFW no school. That feeling that, that's that, that, that feeling feels win win. Yeah. Right. Uh, that feeling win no school. Be me again. Go up to yurt. <laughs> yurt be like what the yurt i'd be like i'm just here to yurt yurt be all <laughs> yurt 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 <laughs> i'd be all yurt 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 suddenly you're be like i'm a chicken nugget <laughs> i'd be like what the fuck yurt <laughs> be yurt <laughs> i'd be all cluck 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 <laughs> Be me. What the fuck, Yurt? Now how I I feel like I'm going to be, be me. I'm on stage at RTX this high. <laughs> <laughs> Just the Pe Penny and I and I may, may have been saying Yurt 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 a lot over the last week. Yurt 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 Yurt. I feel uh, like yurt is like uh, you could you could replace yurt with Smurf and it would be the same. The funniest the thing about joke. being in California was uh, that people would talk about yurt seriously, <laughs> like it's like a thing that was like oh like oh yeah no we went out we got a yurt, and it's just like like we're all just gonna pretend that's not the fucking most funny fucking yeah, word ever. Great word. <laughs> it's like if somebody was like like oh like yeah like like I went out I got a poop. Yeah. <laughs> Me and my fiance stayed in a poop. We, we you know, like, like so it was a great poop, yurt, though. Dude? It was a great poop. It yeah. was actually kind of fancy. It was more like a house, this poop. Yeah, very comfortable in that poop. Uh, yep, we're seeing a bunch of uh, what looks yurt. like tiny homes. I believe the brand name is I Can't Believe It's Not Yurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, it's basically if... You should uh, be called the country's uh, A yurt, yurt is what but... would happen if you gentrified a Bedouin village. <laughs> One, one. Frank got it. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Dennis Miller. <laughs> I don't want to go on a rant here. <laughs> but be, be that, me. Yeah. I'm up on stage <laughs> making jokes about yurts. And only one guy who's an anime voice actor yeah. gets them. Make Chicken it. nuggets. <laughs> Are we calling it? Uh, sure, if I can't think of a funnier <laughs> Dennis Come Miller on. reference. Come on, <laughs> Dennis Miller yurt. And here we go. Dennis uh, Miller yurt. Okay. Uh, uh, what's the deal with yurts? A lot of people out here. And now I just want you to like slowly zoom in and then you turn <laughs> off the background. Yep. yep I don't yep. want to go off on a rant here, but what like all these millennials going out there in yurts makes it seem like they got Sacagawea on speed dial. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. What do you want to do? Get Uber Eats for maize? <laughs> You're on it. You're on it. You're on it. Um, nom, 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 nom. Um, nom, 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 nom. We're calling it. <laughs> All right. Brett, what did we learn tonight? <laughs> we, we, have learned, we, have, we have learned that om nom 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 could fix almost any situation. <laughs> Uh, we, we've learned that, uh, that Bryce is very, 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 very patient, even though he uh, has accusations thrown at him. Stunning what? accusations. Stunning <laughs> accusations. Oh, my God. Yeah, him, if I cheated. If I cheated. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, we, we learned that David McGrady's book, How Minds Change, is available now. Everybody should buy it. Go get it. Go get McGrady's book, for real. Uh, well, Brian, uh, it's been a great night. <laughs> yeah, dude. Shine on, you crazy diamonds. We'll see you at RTX. Oh, God damn. What a dry hump. You keep me alive. You have. Survive. No, there's never been a greater night.
Tuesday. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>